why you should do it because a lot of people were asking me what is what are the benefits why do you have to get the german passport don't you like being Ghanaian? I Hi everyone, welcome back to the Phoebe Way. If this is your first time, my name is Phoebe and on this channel we talk about life in Germany, how to navigate through the German bureaucracy and every topic that concerns you as an expat, as a foreigner, everything you need to know. I'm your girl, I'm your plug. And as I always say, I'm here to point out everything that will benefit you. So, luggage pool. Luggage pool is your solution to all the logistics problems that you have in Germany. If you are seeking to transfer or convey documents, medications, small parcels from Germany to your home country, Luggage pool is the place for you to do that. Okay, so just go onto the platform with this link that I'm going to blend in right here and also in the description box down below. Check it out and book someone who's going to, who's traveling to your home country and who can help you. And if you're trying to convey things um, like this, it's weight per kilo, so the price is per kilo. And Luggage Pool also does the price with you, so they help you to price the service, okay? You don't, you're not alone. Luggage Pool will not leave you alone. So that is one thing you have to know. Today's topic, guys, today's topic is the German naturalization process. Last year, I did a video on how I naturalized and how I got my German um, citizenship and Backstory, a little backstory. I came to Germany when I was 12. That was, I'm not going to say the year because then people will know when I turned 12 and how old I am. I won't do that. But I told you guys about my process. My process was a bit different, but I also gave you the general rule. So if you need to know how to do this, I'm going to leave the, um, the link right here. Just click on the link and go to that video or just save it. I'm sure it will even be the next um, suggested by YouTube. So check that link out how to get naturalized or how to get a German passport. But today I'm going to talk to you guys about why you should do it because a lot of people were asking me, what, is, what are the benefits? Why do you have to get the German passport? Don't you like being Ghanaian? I love being Ghanaian. Guys, I look Ghanaian. I am Ghanaian. No two ways about that. But there are certain benefits that I thought were right to do because I grew up here, as I said, I was 12. I grew up here, there are certain things that were limiting me in my freedom, like things I could do were not, it wasn't everything I could do, like how my German counterparts were doing. And so naturalizing at some point became something that I, it was inevitable. Basically it wasn't inevitable, inevitable. And I'm going to break down those reasons. They're not just my reasons. Some of the reasons are actually for everyone. I'm just going to name them and also tell you why. Personally, I naturalized because at some point I wanted to join the military, I wanted to join the German army and you cannot join the German army if you're not German. Why do you want to defend? That was the first one, but I was like, mm. I still got into law school, I still got into university. First I did business, so I didn't need it that much. But then when I was coming into law school, then it, the question came up with, what if you're going to become a judge? To be a judge, for example, you have to be German, you have to be a German citizen, a German national. So I was like, okay. And then other topics started coming up and I realized, hmm, you have to get this if you're going to stay here, all right? If you get to the point where you know you're going to be living in Germany for a number of years, then you probably should consider. But I'm going to give you the reasons now. As of 2022, German, the German passport is ranked number three alongside Netherlands, South Korea, Switzerland, Luxembourg, France, the German passport is ranked one of the most powerful in the world and it is sharing the rank three with other countries, the ones I just mentioned. What does this mean? It means that if you're going to certain countries, 162 countries in this world or 162 destinations, you do not need a visa. Unfortunately, Ghana is not one of those countries, but yes, it's true. There are certain countries I can travel to freely without having to apply for a visa first because I have the German passport and that is a huge plus if you are somebody like me who loves to travel you should look into that and see if it will benefit you but for me it is a major major plus that aside number two if you're going to live here the political issues in Germany concern you okay you can't live here and you don't want to and you can't have a say in what is going on 
in the Bundestag or who is going to be sent to Bundestag, yes, you will. You may want to vote, you may want to have a voice. So without a German passport or without a German citizenship, you can't vote. You can't vote. And once you're above 18, you're eligible to vote, but you can't vote because you live here. And I would have to go back to Ghana to vote. And whatever I vote is not I who is going to suffer the consequences, but my family members. What's the point? Let them vote for what they want and what they have to bear. And I have to stay here and vote for what I have to. And I have to stay here and vote for what I have to bear. And that is the reason why, one of the reasons why the German citizenship was attractive to me. You can vote. And not only that, you can also be actively involved in German politics. So not that you can vote, but also people can vote for you. Okay, so you can become active in German politics because what? You are a German citizen. That is another thing. So voting and being voted for. Major, major reasons if you are interested in that. Number two already or number three, the German human rights, or let me say the German fundamental rights or human rights are in two groups. We have the um, Grundrechte, we have the ones that are for Jedermann, that is for everyone, that governs all of us, these are the human rights, the, Ger the in German we call it Menschenrechte, so like your right to um, religion, so freedom of speech, freedom of religion, these things are for everyone, you don't have to be German for you to enjoy these freedoms, they are for everyone. But then there are certain um, rights, Bürgerrechte, that are for Germans, okay? So for example, as I said, the Wahlrecht, the one, the right to vote and be voted for, that is one. And also the right to move around freely within the EU and within Germany, that is also another one. So if you are not German, or if you have the German passport or the German citizenship, you can move to the EU, any country in the EU, to settle and live there and work there as well, okay? That is one thing. Oh, you, and also within Germany, there's another right, the one that has to do with um, Recht auf freie Berufswahl. You can do whatever job that you, you want to do. Remember when we're talking about settling in Germany and applying for your um, stays and um, what's the word I'm looking for? Your legal stays and your residence and all of the residence permits and everything. There were set, certain jobs or certain restrictions when you were looking for a job and when you were going to be given a job. It says that in some instances, if the job cannot be taken by a German, that is when they can give it to you, or a German or um, from a, somebody from the Dach region, so Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. If nobody can occupy that role, that is when you can be given that role. But once you are German, you are all in that first priority um, classification category, okay? So that is one thing that is actually quite important you are free in choosing what what you want to do the kind of job you want to do and you can also set up a business without any restrictions okay so these ones so when it comes to your career you are much more free you have more advantages when you have a German citizenship and if you want to stay here okay next advantage would be if you have a german citizenship you can retire in any eu country as you wish not only in germany but also in any eu country that you want to retire in another plus another plus and when i was talking about you can work anywhere within the eu it's not just the eu there are certain overshore um territories of for example france or netherlands that you can work there if you have the german citizenship you can work there up to 90 days without any um issues just travel there, work there, and come back home. Like, things are much easier. Talking about traveling, talking about traveling, another thing that you should watch out for is that once you are traveling around and you might need some kind of consular protection, I remember one time, I've told you guys a story about my Cambodia experience. If not, link is here as well. I was really ready to go to the consulate and just speak up and report what I had experienced, okay? And they are almost everywhere. And even if you don't get the German one, you get the Austrian one, you get the Swiss one, or they are working with another country to make sure that the citizens are protected. Remember what happened during Corona. German citizens were being flown back home at some point. So there are certain, or not certain, but there are like generally benefits that come with getting the German citizenship and these are the things that I decided for by myself I wasn't forced by anyone my parents had already naturalized and I still 
held onto my Ghanaian passport with so much pride because I was like, I'm not going to go back to Ghana and have to apply for a visa and da 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 and da 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 and da da da. Yes, it's stressful, but at the end of the day, I travel to other countries more in a year than I travel to Ghana. Sometimes it's twice um, every second year, so um, bi-annually and not every year. I'll be going to Portugal, I'll go to France, I'll go to Italy, different countries around, and it's not always Ghana. And I, when I went to the US as well, all I had to do was register on, I think it's called ESTA, online, and I was good to go. I didn't have to apply for any visa, anything. So these are some of the reasons why applying for the German citizenship or the German um, passport or naturalizing to the German citizenship is a good thing to do. So those who ask those questions, those who are asking me via email, I've given you some of the answers, but these are the things. And one thing too is, once you have a German citizenship, you don't have any immigration bureaucracy troubles once you're living in Germany. You don't have to do anything anymore. You really don't have to do anything. You just have your um, ID card, you have your passport, and you're good to go, literally. You are good to go. So that's it, guys. If you love this video, if you like this topic, then you are at the right place because this February, I have dedicated it to the German passports, the German naturalization, citizenship, all of it. So next week, we are going to talk about why your application didn't go through because a lot of people have asked me that question as well. Things you should look out for when you're applying. Yes, I'm going to add that. And I'm also going to add that to the end of this video, the steps and the things that you need. But we will discuss them in the second video after this as well. So why your application was denied. And then the next one will be about the different ways of um, getting the German um, citizenship, not just through naturalization, because a lot of people have also asked questions about what if I give birth to, uh, to my child in Germany, would my child automatically be German? Yes and no, or no, it depends on how many years you've been here and all of that. So we're going to discuss everything um, that concerns the German citizenship as well. Thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of this video. I remain your girl Phoebe, and if you have any questions, do not hesitate, send them to any of the handles that you see below here, so on Instagram, on Twitter, Facebook, um, just send them to me or also per email ldbwithphoebe at gmail.com. This is Nixon Zontag. Ade!